Good morning, folks. It's a very calm day for weather, space weather, seismicity, and even science news. But we've got a couple gems in solar forcing with broader implications, and we're still going over the last 24 hours on our star. Quiet indeed. No significant solar flaring, no Earth-directed eruptions, newer sunspots have stopped growing, and there remains virtually no explosive potential at this moment on our star. We do have a coronal hole near center disk, but its solar wind is at least another day or two away. The sunspot situation reveals the quiet. No big spots. Those new ones appeared and then stopped all development, and the incoming spots actually decayed a bit. We will keep watching. So first up in today's articles, a persistent impact of the solar wind on the high latitude ionosphere. This is the persistent connection between the sun, space weather, the ceiling of the global electric circuit, not to mention its access point to the ozone layer. This link point is also where auroral development begins and from where it spreads during extreme solar events. The other study bit of a gem for veterans. It discusses the impact of the solar cycle on polar summer mesospheric echoes. For those who know our coverage of this topic, good news. Another confirmation that the sun's impact is significant, which means those longer term changes in the layers, which we've covered several times before, are almost certainly electromagnetic as well, driven by the increased electrical dynamics of the atmosphere with Earth's weakening magnetic field. We greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now at 7 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.